Hey everybody. On April 13th at 2.30 p.m. Well, that was quite a surprise. <laughs> I woke up. Oh my goodness, my bones were hurting and I didn't know why. Um, but it was not bad out. Made some coffee, let the dogs out. You know, the normal stuff. And then all of a sudden it got really, really, really black. And the hail. And the thunder. And the lightning. So, of course, I had to comfort a little white little angel dog. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, didn't know the storm was coming. It wasn't predicted for this area. And I'm just going to believe in the name of Jesus that little scarlet hair, uh, no dents in Jesus' name. The hill is a little bit bigger than pea size, but not golf ball size, but sure was pounding on the roof. But everything is green. Anyways, I'm so sure I sounded like a scatterbrain on that video last night. <laughs> I was just amazed getting on my computer and seeing those pink birds and and think and just reading what it said and how they all meet um, in a popular place <laughs> oh my goodness or knowing what time it is <laughs> and we're in the season <laughs> yes yeah, tornado season in Texas but that's okay I drink of Elisha and a world one. Oh, so anyways the point to this whole thing is we love God with all our heart mind body and soul right and we love our neighbor as ourself. And we know that it is by grace we are saved, right? Through faith. Faith pleases God, right? And faith is what he's looking for when he returns. So, on the many years that some of us have had here on YouTube and social media, and there's been some frictions and things like that along the way, some people have medical issues that we didn't know about or some of us didn't divulge <laughs> until recently. I still need to do my testimony for his glory. But I guess I just want to say that it's very, very important that we all come together in one accord. As, like I, I saw those birds like worshiping and calling on the Lord Jesus. I saw us and I had a vision of us calling like let the bride and the spirit say come Lord and as we call on him there's many in the body that aren't ready and it's heartbreaking and many of us have cried over these things already but you know what all you need to do is take an olive branch and reach out in love. Humble yourself. Let it all go. Let it all go and give it to Jesus. Because we're going to be spending eternity together, y'all. That's a very long time. It's going to be awesome. And none of this will even matter anymore. So even though it's 54 degrees now, <laughs> I do have to get up at pollen everywhere. Um, I do need to get to a location here in a few minutes, but I just wanted to come on and say, hey, we got the pink moon coming. Thank you, uh, MP, for reminding me of that. I was bouncing off the walls with everything the Lord was showing me so fast. I'm so sorry. Uh, we got the pink moon on the 19th. Passover on the 20th. Right? And Elijah Moses uh, video this morning about Julius Caesar Mussolini and the connection with Jesus Christ. There is just so much mind-blowing stuff going on right now, y'all. So, hey, let's love one another. Let's get together in one accord. Let's make peace. 
peace of God that passes all understanding, I pray, falls upon every single one of y'all all the time. Angels watch over us, guide us, and protect us. And <laughs> I believe in miracles. I had one last night. That was amazing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give him all the praise and the glory, saints, because he's coming really soon as he's fixing apart those clouds. <laughs> Debbie from Texas saying, Peace out, Maranatha. Keep looking up. The king surely is coming. I love you all. <laughs>